Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the rate function. The rate function could be a function you can use if you are going up by a car. Let's say for example you're at the dealership and the salesman's quoted you the amount that you want to borrow, the number of payments, and the payment option. And you kind of want to find out what is the interest rate you're actually paying. So let's say the first rate he gives you is for a loan of $17,000, right? And then you're looking at 24 payments, 24 month monthly payments. So that's basically two years. So that's a two-year payment every month that you're going to pay, and maybe you're going to pay $725. So we put a negative after the 725 before the 725 because we are saying that 725 leaves our pocket. So the rate function is going to give us the interest rate. So what we're going to do is type in equal R-A-T-E. I'm going to go ahead and just double click right here. It's going to give me open parentheses. Now the NPER is the number of periods and this is basically the number of payments. So it's talking about 24 payments, basically monthly payments in two years, so it's 24. Then comma, it will take me to the next argument which is the payment. So this is at minus 725. $725 is leaving our pocket every month. Now the present value is this amount. This is the amount that we are borrowing. This is the amount that we're getting into our pocket. So that's a positive, right? So that's coming into our pocket. So if I just go ahead and just press enter, Excel will automatically give it a closing parentheses. These are the arguments here in brackets. They are optional arguments, so we don't need to add those in there. I'm going to go ahead and press enter, and now we have an interest rate of 0%. The reason why it's 0% is there's a decimal behind all that. So I'm going to go ahead and bump it up a couple and you will see here it's 0.19 percent but that's really giving us the monthly percentage rate if we want to turn that into a yearly percentage rate we're going to have to times it by 12 so we're going to times this amount times 12 so that's going to give us two percent And the reason why this is at 0.00 and this one was at percentage that's because this is displayed as a percentage so if i click on here you'll notice that in the home tab under the number group we have percentage this is the way that the number is displayed this number is displayed in a general format so basically with no formatting what I can do is I can go ahead and click that drop down and go under percentage and it will put it into a percentage so at annual interest rate it's 2.24 percent which is not bad but let's say that we say we can't afford 725 we can only afford five hundred dollars a month and the salesman comes back and says, okay, for $17,000, he's going to need to go ahead and bump up the number of payments by 36. And then the payment we had said earlier was minus $500. So that $500 is leaving our pocket. So what's going to happen now is I'm going to go ahead and put in a rate here. And I wanted to make sure that, you know, am I getting a good rate from the salesperson? So I can put the rate here. The number of periods is 36. The payment is minus 500 comma and then the present value which is this amount that I am taking a loan it's going to be 1700 so I'll go ahead and press enter and you'll see that zero percentage again I'm going to go ahead and increase the decimal and it's giving me 0.31 percent so the real kicker here is what is my annual percentage rate so basically equal this times 12 and I have 0, 0 0.37 I go ahead and click on this. I can all go ahead and click under here for the drop down, but there's also this percentage here. So I can click on that. It's going to give me that, and I can just bump up the percentage. And really, I've got a percentage rate of 3.75. Still not bad. So we're going to go on to a third quote or fourth quote if they give us additional quotes. But here you can look and see based on the principal, the payment, and the payment amount. You can kind of figure out what is your periodic interest and what's your annual interest more likely you want to figure out what your annual interest is because you want to see how much you're being charged on interest based on the changes of these two amounts the number of payments and the payment so that's the way that we can use the rate function hope that helps thanks for watching